The doctors and other emergency aid workers all live and work here in the Chicago area, but have been traveling to Gaza to work in hospitals and treat some of the thousands who've been wounded. My hope in speaking to you all is to convey the humanity of the Palestinians. Every single healthcare worker that I've spoken to says, share our stories. The doctors and aid workers spoke today at the Council on American Islamic Relations in Chicago, describing what they saw in Gaza during multiple trips over the past few months. I've been to plenty of very, very difficult places and thought I was prepared when I went into Gaza in January. I was nowhere near prepared. It's the worst destruction that I've ever seen. The doctors say more than a thousand healthcare professionals have been killed and 15,000 Palestinians are waiting on medical evacuation lists who can't get the help they need. Right now, the border between Israel and Palestine, Israel and Rafah, Rafah and Gaza, is shut down. The Israeli military stormed this border on May 6th, and since then we have not been able to evacuate children out of the Gaza Strip. Not just children injured by the Israeli military, but children who've been diagnosed with cancer who need chemotherapy. We reached out to the Israeli consulate here in Chicago for a response. Consul General Yinam Cohen says over the past year, more than one million tons of aid has come into Gaza via land, air, and sea routes. This effort is done in partnership with the U.S., the United Nations, and Arab partners. While we take the utmost care in ensuring that this aid makes it into Gaza, it should be confirmed that the aid makes it into the hands of the Palestinians in need and not into the hands of Hamas terrorists. One doctor who recently returned says that not only are medical supplies hard to come by in Gaza, but doctors in emergency rooms there are even having trouble finding soap to clean themselves and patients before surgery. Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.